I think I think with the Tua thing, it's just like it's it's the same issue, right? I mean, it's the same in, it's injury issues too, right? I mean, it, his injury is way different, and that those concussions, it it becomes a pariah. And I think Tua is a heck of a talent. I thought he balled out this year. I, I'll be first to eat crow when I said, you know, it was surprising how little faith that Miami had in him. But you know, he played well when he did. It's just. If he gets another concussion, what happens? What happens? That that is very a scary outlook that I don't think anybody's talking about. I don't want I don't want that, but that is an an outcome where nobody wants to be a part of that everybody's scared of. This top NFL player may change completely the way you think about Tua Tungabaloa's injuries. Cam Hayward is a defensive tackle with the Pittsburgh Steelers. He was a first round draft pick in 2011 out of Ohio State. He's been in the league for 12 years. He's been named to the all pro team three times and he's been to the Pro Bowl six times. He is the son of former NFL player, Craig Ironhead Hayward. I say all this because he's got some cred here. He asks a question here that no one's been able to answer or willing to answer. That question being, what happens if Tua Tungvaluwa gets another concussion? This is real life, and it's seemingly way out of the realm of what most fans can even comprehend. No one wants to touch the subject, the scary subject, of what happens if Tua gets another concussion. You have to believe that Tua and his family already know what they're going to do. But what will the Miami Dolphins do? if Tua gets another concussion. And please don't tell us that the answer to that question is, hey, we got Mike White. Nobody, not the team and not any fans, want to answer the question, what happens in the eventuality that Tua Tungvaluwa gets another concussion? Cam Hayward is in the league. He's a top defensive tackle with the Pittsburgh Steelers. He knows the difference between a concussion and a soft tissue injury. Everybody talks about how Lamar's had many injuries and he didn't play. As Cam said, that's completely different. Soft tissue injuries versus concussions are completely different. So what the hell are the Miami Dolphins going to do? What's their backup plan if Tua happens to get another concussion? Anybody know? Anybody have any idea? Are you telling me that the answer is Mike White and Skyler? I don't know. Maybe you do. Let me know in the comments what you think will happen if Tua gets another concussion. Talk to you soon. Fins up. Is anybody catching on to this Barry guy? His injury is way different in that those concussions, it it becomes a pariah. And I think Tua is a heck of a talent. I thought he balled out this year. I, I'll be first to eat crow when I said, you know, it was surprising how little faith that Miami had in him. But, you know, he played well when he did. It's just, if he gets another concussion, what happens? What happens? That That is very a scary outlook that I don't think anybody's talking about. I don't want, I don't want that, but that is an, an outcome where nobody wants to be a part of that everybody's scared of.